Fatal 12, the most compassionate death game I've ever seen, with actual real people instead of freaks of nature. Today we are going to look at a visual novel in which 12 individuals have been given a chance to undo their unfortunate death, but only if they eliminate the other participants and be the last one remaining. Today we are going to take a look at Fatal 12. Fatal 12 took me by surprise by its explosive beginning and begins with a simple fundamental premise. Something ironically pleasant to see given other works in the same genre. Fatal 12 features 12 individuals participating in a death game where the goal is to investigate each other's name, cause of death, and life regret to elect them for elimination to be the last one remaining. Kind of like if you took Danganronpa, combined it with Ace Attorney, and had them kill each other by sending them to the Shadow Realm. Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this. My deck has no pathetic cards, but it does contain... Ah! Impossible! Well, I say that, but that's a more dramatized version of what happens. It's very anticlimactic for how the elimination happens, and that itself is its own double-edged sword. There's no over-the-top superpowers, no game-changing gimmick, just a simple investigative, deductive reasoning death game, trying to dig up each other's histories like a PI investigating a cheating spouse. With differing backgrounds and personalities, these individuals are entered in as participants, including our normal high school girl, Rinka. Heavy emphasis on normal. Rinka is a very passive protagonist, with her fumbling her way around the first few weeks. You think with her life being on the line where a person's identity is a quick Google search away, you think she would be more concerned. But nah, let's just casually hang out on the school rooftop. The beginning is easily the weakest part of the visual novel, with its prose being very tell rather than show, and with Rinka trying to attempt the pacifist speedrun of Fatal 12. It's not the most engaging narrative out of the gate. Its second half though, what a surprise. With other death games, I often discover that there's a disconnect between me and the cast, Usually because they're either too unrealistic for me to sympathize with, or they're utterly insane like these crazies. The real stars of this visual novel are the other participants. Don't judge a book by its cover because these guys really came through. We learn more about their backstory, how they lived their lives, and what their biggest regrets were. Even throughout the elections, the massive influences they've had on each other is astounding. While they may be from different cultures and backgrounds, they're still real people like you and I with personal regrets that haunt them on their deathbed. Whether it's Alan, the stoic and calculating adversary, or Odette, the shark toothed woman with a larger than life attitude, or Miharu, the unwavering friend willing to do anything to save Rinka, their genuine traits and feelings shine through at the very end, making them great and even phenomenal characters. Hell, even Rinka grows a backbone and becomes an active player too. The production is on the more conservative side when it comes to UI. There's nothing wrong with a simple and clean UI, but it lacks creative flair. Now, while there are features specific to Fatal 12, like the keybook, which is a nice touch, the visual novel lacks backlog capability to scroll back lines of text, which is a drawback. Especially when the visual novel likes to dump mechanics on how everything works. I hope you all passed your class on Time Physics 101. For how anticlimactic the visual novel can be, the OST isn't letting that hold itself back. Bombastic and suspenseful are fantastic turns for its hard-hitting tracks. With their dramatic orchestration, the most memorable songs greatly increase in intensity and sell the visual novel's tense scenes for maximum impact. There's some great standout pieces, and Fatal 12 wouldn't be as thrilling without them. In conclusion, Fatal 12 is the most compassionate killing game I've read so far with actual real people. Fatal 12 is a slow starter and rough around the edges in regards to plot details, prose, and Rinka during the first half, but as you read more into the story, all the characters become increasingly more compelling as we come to learn more about their retrospective into their own lives and regrets to their last breath. And how the story presents itself during its dramatic moments is suspenseful, thrilling, and a great ride to its conclusion. I give Fatal 12 a 3 out of 5 with a seal of recommendation. Subscribe if you liked the video and want to see more. Check back every week for new content. Check out some of my other anime visual novel reviews on my channel if you are interested. That's it for today. I'll see you all next time.